This is the second round of our Tesla Smart Summon tests. Last time we tried stationary objects, we tried pylons, we tried obstacles. This time we have a bunch of items that are gonna be moving obstacles. We got everything from golf balls all the way up in size to what is supposed to be a fake shopping cart at the end. And all these kind of represent simulations of different items moving in front of a Tesla while it's on Smart Summon. We'll see what happens. We got Summon all hooked up, cars ready over there waiting, and we got our first obstacle, a mock shopping cart. We're gonna slide it in front of the car as the car approaches on Smart Summon and see what the car does. Oh, whoa! Damn. That was so cool. Holy crap. The car stopped. <laughs> I thought it was gonna hit it. <laughs> That was so cool. Did you get that? I did, yeah. Oh, Want to do okay. it again? <laughs> sure. That was really cool. The first time we ran the shopping cart in front of the car, the car stopped just before, let the shopping cart go, and then tried to find its way out. We're going to try it again, though, just to make sure it wasn't a fluke. The car stopped for the shopping cart. That oh is crazy. my god. <laughs> my string. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck. All right, we got a bunch of balloons. They kind of look like a tree branch or something. I don't know, we're just trying to simulate something kind of small in size, maybe a small cat or something. And we're gonna put the balloons over here. I got a string, and this string, I'm gonna go onto the other side of the road. While the smart summon comes in between, I'm gonna pull the balloons in front drag him across and see if Smart Summon recognizes it and stops for it. Six little dollar store balloons, seven of them maybe. Some of them popped, but the car stopped when this got close enough. It's crazy. All right, the moving shopping cart and the moving balloons passed. Now we got a basketball. We're gonna work our way down in size. We're gonna do two tests here. We're gonna do a bounce test because the sensors on the car might not be able to pick up the ball if it's just rolling along the ground. And then we're gonna just do a rolling test afterwards to see what the sensors pick up. Oh. No, we did not pick up the basketball bouncing in front of the car. Our first fail. Oh, okay. It, got, it hit the ball, but it stopped. First time it didn't even stop. Or did the ball hit the car? <laughs> All right, now we're gonna do a basketball test where we roll the basketball in front of the car. It's a little bit higher than that front fender, so we'll see exactly what it picks up and if it stops. <laughs> and there goes the ball. <laughs> yeah. Wait, did it stop or did you stop it? It stopped. It did not stop. Oh, okay. I mean, it might have stopped when it ran over the ball, but the ball did not work. <laughs> How do we get the ball out now? I mean, you just got to reverse. I knew it wasn't going to be good for the car. No, that wasn't bad. Yeah, that was way worse for the ball. It's kind of in a really weird spot right Is it now. Pumped? Oh shit, it's so pumped. Oh, it's under this. Yeah. God damn it. I almost feel like running over it would be. Can I kick it into the. Fuck. I'll back up. Yeah. Kevin's stressing. Oh! Oh! oh. What? <laughs> what? Oh my god. <laughs> no, we're good, we're good, but the ball is not. <laughs> Look where it is. <laughs> is it so fing pumped though? Like, dude, this has to get. Oh, it's no, it's broken. It's broken? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this Broke is how you get ball. views, bro. This is content. Broke the ball. 
So next up, we got a soccer ball. It's not really pumped, but we're gonna throw the ball in front of the car anyways. This time we're gonna try and throw it a little faster than the basketball. It's not really gonna bounce as well as the basketball will. So we'll see if throwing it above in front of the sensors will get the car to stop. One more time, one more time. Nothing. <laughs> All right, when we rolled the big basketball in front of the car, Smart Summon did not pick it up. When we threw the soccer ball in front of the car, Smart Summon did not pick it up. So it looks like we might be getting to a point where the balls are getting too small for Smart Summon to notice. So I have a smaller one here, but it's really soft, and I'm gonna toss it actually in front of the car and try and hit the front fender with it and see if Smart Summon will notice a small impact. Now it's super soft, it's not gonna damage the car, but I wanna see if there's some kind of impact sensor and Smart Summon knows to stop if it gets hit by something. Didn't do anything. Yeah. So we've tested the big basketball, we've tested the soccer ball and the small basketball. This was the last thing that the car was able to detect. It didn't detect the soccer ball, it did not detect the small basketball, and it only detected this when we rolled it in front of the car. So I don't think it's gonna detect either the baseballs or the golf balls, so it's really not worth testing. But overall, it was cool to see the car stop in front of the shopping cart and the balloons and the basketball when it was bouncing, but I'm not sure about if it should be stopping for this or if it should let it go. This is a pretty big object. I would not want to be using Smart Summon around rogue objects like this because it's just not gonna pick it up right now.